I, I sent by, uh, if you have it, I sent uh, a WhatsApp of what I want to cover now. Um, I noticed that Rav Leuchter in this Sefer, Meshivas Nefesh, which is a nice, nice Sefer, so he has a uh, Sikum of Shara Aleph, Eric Aleph Bey's Gimel Dalit, which is complicated things. That's what I sent you, and I, I think I want to use that as the uh, springboard to speak here, because I think it's, um, he says things very clearly. But just even before the, we do that, is there, uh, David, can you hand me a Chumash? Where he says, Shemad. Any Chumash, yeah. Thank you. Let's just, uh, if the juice is running here. If you take a look in the beginning of the Torah, this is a very famous uh, Pasuk and a very famous Rashi. Elo told us Hashemayim v'ha'aretz, this is a Cheney in Bracious. Elo told us Hashemayim v'ha'aretz b'hi baram. B'yoyim asois Hashem alikim eretz v'shamayim. And here, the Torah is describing the world that was just created. V'cholsiyah hasada terem yeh ba'aretz. V'chol esif hasada terem yitzmach. This is the, the, pasuk, the, the part of the Pasuk that I'm interested in here is V'chol esif hasada, Hashem created grass, pastures and pastures of grass. That was there um, at the, before there was man, right? There was just grass and hills and mountains and it was very beautiful. But terem yitzmach, but nothing grew. Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu didn't make it rain yet. So true, he created the pastures of the world and the grass of the world, the desha, the esav hasada. But lahim ter Hashem alakim al-aretz. Why? Because va'adam ayin lavod es A very fundamental passage, because there was no yet man yet. Meaning, until there was man, until man was created at the end of creation, so the whole creation didn't really work. It was like an empty box. It was like a painting. The, 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 whole, the whole world, which, which is gewaldic to think about, nothing was going on, really, um, until man came along, was created, and turned on the switch that made, the, made it live. The whole creation became live. Kiterem, so why didn't it rain? Rain refers to life. In other words, rain is when everything starts to actually happen. The rain cycle begins, things start to grow, fruits start to come out. This is all of Sarech Adam. So if it's all of Sarech Adam, there's no man yet, so until Friday, um, nothing, nothing was happening. It was an inactive, inanimate world, if you will. It wasn't something which was animated. Rashi adds, in Pasuk Hay, Terem yeh ba'aretz. So says Rashi. V'chol esav hasada adayin leitzamach u'b'shlishi shekasav ay on Tuesday it already says v'toitzei ha'aretz toitzei ha'aretz right that the 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 land gave forth um, grass. It was only just about to sprout. And it waited there. The whole Bria waited there till Friday. Why? There was no point in it. Once man came, and he understood this is all not going to work. Unless it rains, it's like getting a plant and not watering it, and it's not, it's not going to work. He spalel aleim, so it took the tefillah of Adam Arishan, who was davening already on the on day one of his birth, on his birthday, he was already davening the yardu, and then the rain came down. Presumably, it rained on Friday. <laughs> That's when it rained. With some chuha ilanais fad to show him, and everything started to blossom, and everything started to bloom. So Gavalt that, that it, it required Adam's, not just Adam, to appreciate the Geshem, but Adam to daven for the Geshem, because by Adam davening for the Geshem, by saying Tfilas Geshem, 
uh, by him davening for the Geshem. So now that unlocked the water from the skies and the clouds burst and, and everything started to work and all of a sudden we had a whole earth which was blossoming green. So this is, um, in, in this one Pasuk, in this one Rashi, you have the whole Shar Beis of the Nefesh Echaim. Because what, he, what he's saying is that um, somehow or another, somehow or another, uh, the, the, the human being, Adam, is so essential in the Bria that he's not just a Makabel, but he's the Nois Sein also, he's the one with the switchboard. We've, we're holding the remote to make the whole world work. So, um, remember we learned on, on last week that Kodesh Baruch Hu and Shirim called us Tu'umasi, Yonasi Tamasi Tu'umasi. They're like twins, meaning like they're in a certain way, obviously in a certain way, we're as powerful as Kodesh Baruch Hu in this. We're the one, who, who makes it rain? Okay, so on the one hand we say, Mavteach HaGeshamim is beyond Hashem. Nobody's got that key except for Hashem. On the other hand, he's not turning the key unless the Adam is misspelled. And that's Mufurish in Sefer Bresh of Shani. Right? That's Mufurish right here. Chalseach HaSada Terem Yia Ba'aretz. So Chalseach HaSada Terem Yitzmach. It didn't grow. Ki lahim ter Hashem aliki ba'aretz ba'adamayin lavud es Adama. There's no man, Rashi says, no man davening. It's not like I needed it to get my fruit. There's no man davening, so then there's nothing that's coming down from this world. So do we understand here, I mean, without, without any uh, Kabbalah, without any Nefer Shachayim, we understand here that it, without Tfilah, it simply couldn't work. It, uh, nothing could work. Why? Because we're Nasa Shutav Lamai Sabratius. Nasa Shutav Lamai Sabratius were, were it, it was kind of stuck right here waiting for us. Like we always talk about the, um, the cycle, like the rain cycle. It came. It was created. Now it's stuck. It's stuck with Adam, and it's Adam that has to bring it up and and, and get Hashem to unlock the keys. So what's what's hard to wrap our brain around is Hashem has the keys, but we have Hashem. We don't have the keys. Hashem has the keys, but Hashem is waiting for us. Why? Who knows why? I don't know that anybody knows why Hashem did it this way. That's part of Malchus. Why Hashem has his reasons. Give Yachol. For, for putting this in the hands of man, but it, the, the, the fact of the matter is, it is in the hands of man. We can theorize and say, why well, put it in the hands of man? Uh, you know, if we were starting a company, we wouldn't put such power in the hands of our um, insubordinates. We would not do that, but because we don't trust them. Apparently, Hashem does trust us. Or, if you mess up, you don't get rain. As <laughs> simple as that. Which is the simple shot in... Right? There will be rain. That's a simple shot. The simple shot is that that um, that it's a tani. But it's not a, a tani in the gender of schar va'oynish, the way we always understand it when we say kriyashma. It's 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 um we're we're in our place. So if I don't know if you if you can look on your phone, good. If not, I'll I'm going to read it anyway. Just wanted to make it a little easier because he, he he explains this very well. A lot of the things that are very difficult to explain, he explains. And then being that it's Rav Leifter, we can argue with him. Time, I don't have the chutzpah. Rashi, doesn't, if I remember correctly, doesn't Rashi say also Dani will also she appear with Shabbatan? No. Of the rain. Um. Yeah, the ain makir but toivos and shel Right, so that's kind of like maybe the other half of like gratitude. Yeah, what it probably means not makir toiv like gratitude, but the, uh, somebody has to appreciate the rain in order to daven it for it. But it's, it's almost like yeah, but it's almost like Hashem is frozen. Kviyachol, these are hard words to say, but it's almost like it's. I'm just waiting for you to daven. Look, how many times just to just take the musar of it in our in our own lives. How many times there's, there, there could be um, such abundance, millions and millions of barrels of bracha, which are just ready to come into our lives, a Kodesh Baruch just waiting to give it to us, all you need to do is daven. Sit with a Jew and daven for a minute. It could be you're, uh, <laughs> could be you're, on, on, you're releasing bracha, tremendous bracha, into, into their lives. So uh, I want to, the, 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 the bracha's there. It, but but if you don't if you don't unlock it and how do you unlock it? Tfila. 
Now, one of the things we're going to explain here is, and let me just make this clear in, in our minds. We learned Shar Aleph and we started Shar Beis. Shar Aleph deals with how the mechanism of the world goes and what mitzvos are all about. Shar Beis ends off with tshuva. Shar Beis talks about tefillah and brachas. So let's divide that into two categories, two very important categories. There's the category of what we do, and there's a category of tefillah. It's, a, it's, it's significant to note that tefillah, according to the Ramban, is not a mitzvah. So everybody says, how could that be a mitzvah? Like the main thing of being Jewish is going to shul, right? Well, that's the main thing we do. We do that all the time, more than we, more than we do other mitzvahs, more than we do pidyin ben, we go to, we go to shul. So the Ramban says, Givaldik, he says, when I say it's not a mitzvah, the Ramban would say for a mitzvah, so when I say it's not a mitzvah, I mean it's bigger than a mitzvah. And from here we learn to Yisrael that there are some things that are even bigger than mitzvahs, they don't even need to be mitzvahs. You can understand that any way you want, meaning if you can't communicate with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so what, what's the whole thing all about? It's bigger than a mitzvah. So, but here, here we're, we're, we're saying something even deeper, I believe. And that is that it's two different things. Mitzvahs accomplish one thing, and tefillah, which is dafka, not a mitzvah, accomplishes something even bigger. Whereas, you, you see, the, let's, let's give a mashal to Basar Vadab. Let's say um, there's a melech, or a president, or a prime minister, and you're a direct, you're working for him. So one thing is you're doing what he wants. Mitzvahs. You do what you want. Okay, get this done, get that done, make sure this gets done properly, right? That's one thing, mitzvahs. Another thing is, I could schmooze with the king. <laughs> this is not a mitzvah that you could schmooze with the king. This is something, is it, the Rabbat says even bigger than a mitzvah because it's a, it's a, it's a yachas, which creates a relationship with the king. But a mitzvah is, it isn't. What's, what's, the, what's the mitzvah? So we, we need to be machalic. So the Rabban, it comes between mitzvahs and tefillah, the Rabban becomes so deep. This is not a mitzvah, dafka, not a mitzvah. It doesn't say anywhere in the Torah you should daven. But it's something that we can do. That's the thing. It's something that we can do. We can, we can speak to Hashem. Now, high tech. What is, it, what is the mitzvah accomplishing? What is the, what is the mitzvah accomplishing? And what is the tefillah accomplishing? And the tefillah, I'm kolel, bracha. All of that's in charvei. Tefillah, I'm kolel, ashray. Tefillah, like the Rabbat says, is based tsar, and since he's based tsar, he's calling out to Hakadosh Baruch Hu and making a bracha on a piece of food. Like, what is all that communication all about? This is what Paul explains it to that a, a mitzvah is a preparation for kivas alikim. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that's exactly tefillah, where we're going. Tefillah is kivas alikim. Okay, so let's let's let him talk for a minute. Um, I'm going to read this fast because we know all this stuff anyway. The Paragzem Mamshech Rabbeinu Levar, Paragzem is Paragdalit of Charbez. Mamshech Rabbeinu Levar, Lahechan Shrichan Anu Lefanois, Lechavim Babadeseinu, Bechlal, Rechaseinu, Befrat. Where do we need to be Mechavim with our Tfilos? What do we need to have Kavana when we're making a brach? Umatolos Mataras Kola Arichas Hazu. And the purpose of the Arichas that the Nefesh Achayim seems to be saying this over and over again. He levair es idi la bracha shu pasach by bereish parak base. Fishu oiber b'seif parak. Let's review the Nefesh Achayim here. Mizel hu idi la habracha lo yisbarach b'chol habrachos v'hatzfilay shepirushu hu toisefas v'ribui mavish kibashmoi halal. So we said that when a person makes a bracha, it's not that you're blessing Hashem, but you're causing the juices to flow. Remember this Rashi I just read to you, that, that it's Adab which causes the, 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 the Bria to work. Like uh, an electrician who's putting in all the wiring, somebody's turning on the switch. Like a plumber who's putting in all the piping, and it's, somebody who's, it's, it's the Adab who's the end user, if you will, who's, who's turning the tap, turning on the faucet. This is, this, so it's all there, and it's all waiting, but... Terem Yitzvach, it's not going to grow, nothing's going to happen. Ki al Adam Ayin. Shidisakhed v'niyachhed al Ayideya, this is all quote from Nefesh Achayim. Shidisakhed v'niyachhed al Ayideya, brachis v'atzfilois, hakoiches v'ailabais hel yoydum. We are being besakhed, that's a new lashon here. It's not new to us, but it's an interesting lashon. Not, not activating, but besakhed. We're doing the final tikkun. 
We're able to get the flow, the Kedusha Sa'ar, Varav Brachis, Meat Smusa Yisbarach, from Hashem himself, Hamishabar Alehem, Ubispashit Pesachal. Hakadish Baruch is the Makara Brachis. Now we're saying, Rebbe Shalaylam, let it flow. Listen, what could be more important to know than how to daven? <laughs> how to get those, that, that, that or to flow? Once we, Jews, get it flowing, then we ourselves get a Kedusha. The Yisrael, the Ben Yisrael, who's turning on the faucet, who's making the, the flow happen, himself gets part of that Kedusha. To, to explain it. In order to understand this a little bit easier, let's make a sequel. This is sophisticated stuff. Correct? We spent a lot of time on that. That causes Hashem is sitting there with all this Bracha, and we're saying, let it flow. Otherwise, it's stuck with him. So comes the Nefesh HaChaim, and he immediately explains, Again, he warned us, don't think, it's not that Hashem needs our brachas. He doesn't need our brachas, he has everything. The world here. The world. Hmm? Yeah, so all of that, like there might be other stuff that are completely malachim, who knows. But in this world, that's that's the part we're dealing with. And in this world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu created this world that we see, which includes Jupiter and Mars and everything, you know, everything. Hashem created it and is ready to activate that bracha to it. Everything that has to do with giving hashba into this world are the shemois that we know. Gracious Bara, Elohim. Pertain to this world specifically to give us a yad and understanding a havana in midas hadin, midas hachesed, midas hatiferes, etc. And midas ultimately midas habalchus. Does that imply there could be shemus? We don't have any idea. Understanding, you know, the Mekubalim say this for whatever it's worth, but uh, understanding the Shemais, like this is a big Libud in Kabbalah, which we're not doing, understanding the Shemais, like if you're a Mekubal, so you're understanding Shemais, Partsuja, by Lamais, those are the three. So understanding Shemais is as close as we can get to understanding Hashem. But it doesn't touch, per se, Atzmusa Yisbara, which... We, it's not our business, Bechlal, like Atzmusa Yisbarach. What's Nogeya us is the creation in which we live in and how Hashem manifests itself in himself in, these, in this creation. Do you understand that distinction? Very important distinction. So if we'd have to put it on a chart, we have Atzmusa out there into infinity, and then the Shemais, which are finite, and the, the trick here is to get that infinity into this finite. And that's what I explained on Thursday. That's, that's called Malchus. When you really get it to inundate the world, that's called Malchus. So says he. That which is revealed, the Galya is what we can see. We see trees grow, we see flowers blossom, we see children be born. That's where the Bracha comes in. Now, this is extremely important. And this is really, by the way, why I'm, why I'm reading this with you today. But you can make a mistake here. If we don't understand Hashem at all, we can only understand His behaviorisms and how He re- interacts with this world. So when we're davening, let's say, or we're making a bracha, we're not getting all the way to Him. Are we talking to Hashem or are we talking to Hashemos? So how can we talk to him? We have no he, he says it. The answer is that's why Parak Well he says, no, that's not true. This is hard. You need to really work. You have to use Shahu Yisbarak, that's not true. That we're not 
talking to Atzmusa Yisbarach. Shehu Yisbarach ba'atzmai mispashe b'toy shemoy zimano goyzim. Get a load of this. It doesn't mean, en chalami, we can't talk to Atzmusa Yisbarach, but what we can do, what we can do, is talk to the Shemais and the Bria, but you should know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ba'atzma is mispashet l'toy chabriya. Ubebele, kishalu basigin es Shemais, if you could understand the Shemais of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the, the technicality of the Bria, yesh lanu asaga ba yisbarach ba'atzma, then we can understand Hashem himself. V'gab birchoy seinu v'tfilo seinu e'lon b'syachso yisrak l'koy chos hanhog v'chas v'shol. So, so our brachos and tefillah are not So this is a funny kind of a thing. Funny is probably the wrong word, but it's an interesting thing that on the one hand we can only be we can only be Mesiaches to the Shemois of Hashem. That's out, after that it's out of our Hasaga. But it doesn't mean that we, can, we can't talk to Hashem himself. <coughs> so let me give my Moshe. Let's say light's coming through the window. Sunlight's coming through the window, so it's it's sunlight. You can't touch the sun. You can touch you can you, can, you have the sunlight. It's it is sun. I mean, it's not the 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 chefts of the sun, but that is sunlight. Let's say you put stained glass windows on the window. Now it's coming in through all different colors. Call chesed pura tiferes netzachayd. Let's put it on the stained glass window. Right, a different color for each one. Nice idea, no? So <laughs> we have we have all the spheres on the stained glass windows. And now it's coming in through with all kind, all the colors of the rainbow, which are seven colors. Now we're still seeing the, the light of Hashem, but we wouldn't be able to see. If, you can see it better because it's coming in color. So now you can see a reflection of red, a reflection of blue, a reflection of green. You wouldn't be able to see the sunlight itself. So just because Hakadosh Baruch Hu puts this uh, filter on the Or Hashem. And all we can see is through the filter, but it doesn't mean that we're not being misyaches to Ba'i Yisbarach Shmai, but we're, we're, be, we're being misyaches to HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ba'at Smusai, only, even though we can only be massing this part of it. Who knows? The sun itself? Who knows? Ayin le'ros ha'lekim z'losach. Nobody, it's impossible. So even if we don't, in other words, even if we don't understand how it works, what, it, what Hashem is, it doesn't stop us. Right. So, so now we're saying that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, this light is what you're seeing in this world. That's for you. That's Hashem for you. Now, what's the problem with this? My problem with this is, uh oh, like now we're getting involved with the Suffolk of Adazara. Because what are you going to do? Dive into the light? In other words, if Akadosh Baruch is giving his kochos into everything, also to the light. So, so, we should, so it becomes pantheistic. No? The mushroom that comes to mind for me would be like I'm sitting on the telephone or on the Skype and talking to my wife. So the experience here is, it's not my wife, it's the sound coming out of the phone or the picture that I'm seeing of her, black and white, color picture, whatever layers I have, right? But the experience that I'm having is with my wife. Nice, good. Okay, so am, am I worshiping, am, am I relating so to my phone? Worshiping your wife? No, <laughs> so, no in, in the mushroom, am I, am I relating to my phone? I'm not relating to my phone. I'm relating to my wife. Right. I, 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 I'm not all of a sudden in awe of my phone. Because the issue is the Iker is your wife. The Iker is my wife. I'm talking so to this you. becomes it's a clue. Yeah. So he's saying even deeper than a conduit. Meaning it's not just like the flow of your your wife is not ending up on this end of the phone. But but the, the phone is a way to relate to the person on the other end of the phone. I don't know if that's what he's saying. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's the same thing. In other words, whatever muscle you want to use, the point is, just because this is all I can relate to, but on the other hand, as you say, this answers my kasha, you don't love your phone. But on the other hand, there were people who told you. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but maybe that's it's such an interesting people. thing that people do love their phones. Right. Because, no, but that's how it is. Once you love the phone, so that's how it is. You mean a 10? <laughs> what? No, but it's, it's, you know, Halay Dover, who, like, in other words, once you, once you worship, let's get your wife out of this for a second, but what, 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 the shame, boys, we're talking to Hashem, but we're talking in a way that we can relate to it through something we can relate to. So, what's the answer? Who, who are we actually standing before? 
The answer is that's Musa Yispara. So how do we know it? What's the da? The da has to do with the keli or the or the oiros or the light or the whatever it is that is the message, the way that we could we could relate it. So even if we go to let's say a rebel or a tzaddik, we have to understand that it's not the tzaddik or the rebel tzaddik. It's, it's absolutely, it's the absolutely. And if and the minute that you you um, you don't understand that, then the, the same tzaddik becomes an avodah zara, and it's not even his fault. What, what, what you know? What you're worshiping a, a worshiping. <laughs> We don't bow down to anybody or anything because it's nothing more than, you see, so the toys of the Dar Eloish, like the Rambam says, the toys of Avodah was that they cut it off right there. You're a tzaddik, which the Christians did, right? You're a tzaddik, so, so we'll worship you. You are an emanation of God in this world. So they weren't miyachis at further. They were worshiping the cell phone, which is easy to, it's, it's, if it wouldn't be such an easy mistake to make, so hundreds of millions of people would not have made this mistake. It's a, it's a very easy mistake to, to, to make. It's very easy to become a Christian, chas because, because by becoming a Christian, it's easy. You know, all of a sudden, God is a family man. He's right there with you. He's, you know, you could, you could talk to him. You could, you know. That's part of the shot, I think, in Lifnei Mi. It's Lifnei Mi. You're standing before the unknowable. Me. Ma. Me. It's an unknowable. And yet, you're standing in front of him. You're relating. You know, the first day I went to work at the um, at the OU, I'm looking out of my fancy corner office. I was the head of the Department of Education, so I'm looking out of my office, and there's two secretaries right in there, either of them um, talking, and one of them said to the other, um, speak to Jesus, he will help you. And I didn't know that the guy who run the mail room, his name was Jesus. <laughs> I thought to myself, what kind of a... Because <laughs> like, I never worked for the modern Orthodox before. <laughs> I'm pretty modern. Though. Yeah, very modern. Like, well, you're not to... Hey, Seuss. But it was like... <laughs> she was so passionate. Speak to him. Just speak to him. <laughs> Kedei lahaber yoiser es pulas habracha, and to understand this even more clearly, mamshich rabenu mavar al pi yoiser mahalach hazinian avar deseno yoiser yisparach. Let's now talk about how are we worshiping Hashem. Shevadai koma seno mitzvah seno enim noy gim laatz miseno yisparach leva. We're shaking a lulav. We're doing a ma'aser. What does it have to do with Hashem? We're not certainly not giving Hashem anything by shaking our lulav. Another key sense, mamish, underlinable if you have that technology. Don't make this mistake. This is the koiches hanhaga, the cell phone. Don't don't make a mistake. Don't become an oivid avodah zara. We're talking about mitzvos now. Mitzvos is the uh, it deals with creating the infrastructure which allows everything that's in Shamayim to now pour and flow into this world. What is Tfila? So what we're saying here is, there is, if you can imagine in your mind, and there is an infrastructure, or if that's the right word, um, of how that infinite being is going to get into this world and how we can get infinity into something finite without being oivet avodah while we're doing it. And the answer is that 
you have mitzvos and you have tefillah. Mitzvos create the infrastructure. Tefillah makes the juices flow. Like imagine, one thing is creating the pipes. Mitzvos, you know, the Balatanya says is lush and sav. Like, like a clamp. Connecting. Connecting, making, making the keyboard between the big pipe that lights up the whole world, the big conduit that lights up the whole world, putting it into the aim, hooking it up to infinity. That's what a mitzvah does. Tefillah actually makes everything flow. Tefillah is not a mitzvah. It's like the switch? It's, yeah, yeah. So when we speak to Hashem, when we speak to Hashem, so we're able to, Hashem says, okay, I'll let it flow. I'll let it flow. So the speaking to Hashem, but how does it flow? It flows without mitzvahs, the speaking to Hashem won't work. So Hashem gave secrets into the Bria, do this mitzvah, do that mitzvah, and you will create pipes where, where infinity can flow into your life. So you know, when you put out tefillin, you're creating a certain connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu that you would otherwise not have. You can talk till you're blue in the face. Where's Torah? Torah is like Kenegat, right? Talmud Torah Kenegat Kulam. It has like all the different pipes in it. But, but, but every... <laughs> Okay, every 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 mitz every mitzvah is imagine it. I'm just saying imagine, please. This is just a bushel, but uh, but imagine every mitzvah as some type of a pipe which is bringing bracha into this world. Tefillah is Hashem, please make this work. Imagine if a person doesn't tefillah doesn't do tefillah, all of this everything that you're doing is is you put out tefillah and you don't dive it in your tefillah. You've created the pipeline, but nothing is happening. Like this, I'm, you're animating my leg, you're animating my mind. It's a, it's a muck of tefillah. So by Sif Mitzrayim, is that they were held on by one strand, right? And then we took off the tether, Hashem heard... We, heard ra- we, we grew the infrastructure. But he heard it even before, which might not have happened. Without, without even having on that one strand. That's all it took. But can you imagine if all the strands are, are there? Let's, let's go to a couple of minutes. If you just skip, I want to, because I want to cover this. Achiluk, just skip a couple of paragraphs. Achiluk be la voidas ha mitzvus la voidas ha tfilo. Ha misboine no medayik bilashoinoi sho rabbeinu be perak zayira. If you're carefully, if you think carefully about what Rabbi Nevershachayim is saying, sheyeshnoi chiluk mehuti. There's an essential difference, essential distinction, between avodas ha mitzvahs la avodas ha You with me, everybody? Different, so important. Difference between davening and doing mitzvahs. Ki laga beklal ha mitzvahs hu oimer. When it comes to mitzvahs, Nefesh Chaim says, shin yonam hu lechaber, hu lekasher, es kol hoi lamais, you're creating this infrastructure. Shi uruyim lebracha mimenu yisbarach, that can now handle the bracha. If you don't have the infrastructure, like, what these guys are doing, right? If you don't have the infrastructure, so how are you going to get the bracha? Beautiful. Two lashonas in the nefesh hachaim. Mitzvos create the pipe, the pipe system, and tfila actually makes the energy flow. Maybe. I'm, I'm uh, using a lot of different metaphors. I apologize, you're not supposed to mix metaphors, but we got from, from uh, checks to electricity to plumbing to his wife. <laughs> but it's all the same thing. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's all about, yeah, you know, let's say you go out and you buy a, a $1,000 uh, cell phone and you have nobody to talk to. I'm sure it's very common. <laughs> Please call me. I want to use my phone. Like, who do you talk to? So you start schmoozing with the bill collectors. Who are you going to schmooze with? I mean, like, what's the, uh, the, the it's, it's having the Kaylee without having the the actual divorce. So, so the, if if we're talking about right, right, your case, cell phone, no wife. What good is it? What 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 what, about, what do I have it for? This is not going to help your loneliness. You know, you're in a very pre- <laughs> Huh? The of the the class? The glass. The glass. Glass. glass blower. I don't, no, I don't think we should confuse ourselves with that. Because that's talking about, I don't think we should, that's the shabba. So we need to get to that. But, but even more basic than that. 
again. Let's understand the difference between Shar Aleph and Shar Beis. Avoidus ha mitzvahs mispate yacha shel ava v'kir v'mei kva Yisrael kut shebrichu. The fact that Hashem set up this whole fantastic system for us shows us how much He loves us. We should dispar v'shar alaf prakam zayin v'tes tes. Shebeki ha mitzvahs anu oibdim panim el panim bul habar. Here we are standing in front of HaKadosh Baruch with this whole infrastructure which allows us to stand before Him. Da'al ifnei me'ato oibed. And nothing to say. Again, isn't it an amazing thing that Hashem is willing to listen to us speak? It's amazing. That shows how much He loves us. Isn't it an amazing thing that He created this whole infrastructure, called the world, hooked up to... Dalad I love us all the way to Atsilas, which hooks up Mabish to an eight site. Tremendous. Now, how do you make the whole thing work? We're, we're able to speak to him, and the whole infrastructure is there for Bracha to come through. When we're davening, we're not doing his will, per se. It's not, it's not a mitzvah. Oh, he says, He says, He says, He says, He says, He says, it's not a real mitzvah, as mitzvahs go. Elohi mivatas, it articulates. As siyoy, the ultimate. Shel hayachas ben klal Yisrael kuchabrichu sheboy klal Yisrael betuchim kol kach ha'avas ha'kodesh baruch ha'aleim revertoinu lehetiv oisam. Itam. With us. Atcheinu mamtinim we don't have to wait till Hashem says, you know, like Achashverosh, speak. <laughs> we could turn Kavyachal Hashem's face towards us. So let's. It certainly works. There's only Jews. See, we say this in, in the Ila at the end of Yom Kippur. You put us aside. You created in this whole big Bria a group that can talk to you. You are meant to talk to Hashem. And if you talk to, read it, read the Ila. And if you're meant to, if you're meant to talk to Hashem, and you talk to Hashem, as as sort of crazy as that sounds, like. What's the finite talking to the infinite? But what happens is you are causing the blessing to flow. And if you don't talk to Hashem, so like it's like like you have this whole ship of, of the Gemara says a marshal, a whole ship with millions and millions of dollars of, of jewels and, 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 and iPhones and, and you can't get it out into the country because you don't pay the meches and you don't have anybody, to, you don't talk to the man to let it in. It's, it's chaval, the whole infrastructure is there, everything's there, it's just waiting. What's it waiting for? Not money, not another mitzvah, but just tefillah. Please, Hashem, unlock the good into my life. So, so here you have all the tefillahs. We, we were in yesterday, Birchus HaChodesh, right? Yiratzei Bofanecha. Give us this bracha, give us chayim, give us bracha, give us shalom, give us health. Bring it all, let it roll. Let it, bring it all in. So that's, that's what tefillah, and, and it stands in that regard even higher than mitzvahs. Because mitzvahs, to, 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 to just repeat this one more time, mitzvahs are the whole structure. Shemois Hashem. And this is, the tefillah is making it work. Those shemois Hashem, I just want to repeat one last thing. Those shemois Hashem that are in the Bria, that is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, meaning not pantheistically that you dive into them. But that is the Gilui of HaKadosh Baruch Hu in this world. That's where, where in the bracha is coming. The eighth self is coming into that. But, it's, but when we're davening, we're not davening to them. We're davening to a higher place. And then everything flows. Now, the Avodah get mixed up that they daven to them. Easy mistake to make. I think even we, even from Jews, can make this mistake here and there. You know, you can make this mistake and... and, and Wow, 
you're so holy, or this is so effective, or this school works so well, you start to believe in the uh, in the school. That's why we say Krishna the Hashem Echad. You know, um, I don't know if I told anybody this story, but uh, there was somebody who in, in America was called me and he says like he had so many terrorists you know, going out in his life right now. He lost his business, his wife is angry at him, his health is failing, you know, how we all connected. Uh, what should you do? So I don't know, what should you do? David, say tshuva, do tshuva. So I guess it wasn't a satisfactory answer. So he calls me later, he says he went to, uh, he sent somebody to Eric's Israel to go see a certain Makubo. He asked him what you do. <laughs> I failed. Um, so he, he calls me a little bit later and he tells me, um, he says, the Bukubal said to this person who went to him, I don't know who the Bukubal was even, but the Bukubal said to the person who went to him that tell him that his ksuva is puzzle. Hmm. Not check his ksuva, as we usually hear, but his ksuva is puzzle. So he says, do me a favor, I know you're not with the Bukubal and all this, but he, he emailed me his ksuva from 40 years ago, and he said, uh, can you just take a look at the ksuva? The ksuva is completely puzzle. <laughs> completely puzzle. I was missing a word, uh, an, integral, an integral word, so it was completely possible. So, uh, okay, so I sent him that night to a Rav in America uh, who wrote him a new kind of exuva, it's a nusat of exuva shenibsa batos, if you find exuva, it doesn't mean he's not married necessarily, I don't know what it means, but it, it means that, I don't know what it means, <laughs> I don't know what the whole story means, but what's what's interesting is that Lamala. Like, in other words, if, if the, the question is not whether there are people that have a knack or have a, have a, have a, a koach to be able to... Examine the plumber. S- s- examine the plumber. Right, he's a plumber. <laughs> Gavaldik, I mean, you know, so be Muhammad. We're Muhammad, tell me they have No, we stand up for tell me they have We speak to them nicely. Like, uh, there's, there's a be Muhammad here. But you can't lose sight of the fact that this was just, this was this was an act of siyat and mm-hmm. Nothing more than siyat and that that... Uh, that I gave him a bad answer, so therefore he had no choice but to go to a Makubal. Therefore, and the Makubal had to say what it was. And, and here was a pipe that was clogged. By the way, he called me the next day and he says, I got a new business deal. <laughs> and therefore, I never felt so good, and therefore, my wife's not angry at me. <laughs> like, so everything is misukin by the Ksuba Shadim Okay. I wish I had Thursday, Baruch Hashem. Uh, I have a